happy vlogmas everybody it's a new week and i'm going to be planning it with you plan with me all right so this was um the week that i planned last year. you saw this video on thursday um because yes that's when it that's when it went up so there you go i said that i was going to try to track um poops but that didn't happen i didn't really implement a system for actually doing that and so it didn't happen so um it was a rainy week and it made me think about i i also was like watching the they might be giants uh uh documentary <laughs> and it made me think about this song so i just wrote out some lyrics to sort of fill the space um and i did most of the things that were on the weekly to-do list I will be talking more about why I'm f putting fewer things here um, and it's been working really well but that is going to be a video for another day. Today we're just going to be planning the next week. I've already filled out a couple of things because we've been out of town this weekend and uh, I wanted to sort of jot down some, I some thoughts and ideas I had in my head. I got new washi tape. I ordered some washi tape from AliExpress, which if you're not familiar with, it's like, you know, where you get all the cheap Chinese stuff. And it, um, it came after, I want to say maybe a month. I think it was on November 11th, maybe that I put the place the order. And then it came this last, Thursday. I think it came on Thursday. So less than a month. Not too bad. And so I got a couple different washi tapes and this is one of them. And I'm going to try this out. I have some ideas of what I want to do for my sort of planner design for the week. Um, which is more than I usually do. I'm going to do this one upside down. So I, I'll show you in a second what else I got. This one is just a pretty blue, kind of reminds me of snowy mountains or something. Um, or I don't know, the ocean, but blue is wintry and we don't get a lot of winter, but we did get a lot of, like I mentioned, uh, some rain last week, which is very nice for a change, especially, well, maybe not especially with the fires. Um, I'm sure you're all aware there have been fires in Southern California and um, when you've had fires then everything in the ground is all loose and then when you get really heavy rain you get flash floods and mudslides and pretty devastating mudslides. Um, but I actually have not been paying attention to how bad it was this time but I know that there were flash flood warnings. I got those on my phone. Um, fortunately we're okay where we are we didn't get any fire damage because we're in a sort of urban -y area. So this is pretty cute. I got these two different washi tapes. Uh, this one has hamsters. This one has penguins. I'm going for the penguins because it's Christmassy. Um, and they're like these little emoji kind of thingies. Let me see. I'm going to kind of spread them out and you can see what they look like. And I'm going to try to pick out some to use that are kind of wintry maybe. There's a whole bunch. Um, all right. You can't see all of them. Probably. What's wintry? Um, I'll see. I'm going to put this one. I don't go skiing. That's okay. I'll just toss this on there. It matches the um, snowy mountain thing I was talking about. So there we go. Toss that on there. That's cute. Um, I think I'm also maybe on this space going to use some of this washi tape which came. Which has these sort of little watercolor vignettes. A lot of these are very springish. But I think maybe this one here with the purple would be a good 
one to use. I mentioned that, yeah, I've been kind of enjoying having these washi tapes with white backgrounds that I can just sort of cut up or rip up and sort of use like their stickers. It's just cheaper that way than trying to invest in a whole bunch of stickers that you're going to use like once or whatever. Here I have multiples of each design. There we go. And so I can stick this right here. There we go. That's just pretty. Actually, looks pretty nice. All right. I don't need this bit on the end. That's just like partial. It's the beginning of the roll. Comes with like half of a picture. I don't need that. Um, but this one, I'll tuck in the back here on this acetate. That's where I just kind of keep these little scraps that I don't need. Can't tell what that is. Are those kebabs? I don't know. Okay, now I've lost my place. Here we go. So, like I mentioned, I did not set up a strategy for what to do with this. I'm thinking I'm just going to mark out my work schedule, which is boring, but I also got this rainbow of plain colored washi. I know, so much, so much, so much. Um, this one. I think this might be, yeah, a good, good width. So I need to mark out the times. I think this light purple will match the mountains. I'm going to bring it all together. These are Stabilo fine liners. 0.88. I don't know what that means. Okay. There we go. So I work Monday from go to five. Uh, yeah. There we go. With, should I mark my uh, lunch break? I guess I will. I take my lunch break from 11.30 to 12.30. Alright, what do I talk about so that I don't have to fast forward? Less editing is my goal right now. Because, yes, I uh, usually have a little bit more time to plan my week. Um, Either that or I'll do it like on Monday. Kind of go into Monday without a plan and just wing it for a day. Um, but I wanted to do a plan with me video because it's a video that's easy-ish to do. This is a unusual one I guess because like I said I already wrote down most of the stuff that's like on my to-do list to start with. because we were out of town. Um, if you saw Saturday's video, we were visiting family in uh, the Central Coast and we went to go see the lights and Santa. My little daughter met Santa for the first time. She was really chill. She was, she was so good. I'm just so proud of her whenever we travel. I know I mentioned this when we went to Thanks. I think I mentioned this when we went to Thanksgiving. Maybe not, but she napped like a pro. I was so proud of her. Um, when we were at my parents for the whole Thanksgiving extended weekend. Um, and yeah, same with, this was just an overnight trip. We went up Saturday morning, came back Sunday evening. I'm filming this Sunday evening. Um, for whatever reason, I'm like way more exhausted than I should be for nine at night. 
probably because we stayed up pretty late on Saturday night, you know, talking to the cousins and just hanging out and having a good time. It's always great. Um, really love my husband's cousins. They're, they're great people. Um, yeah, so we went to Cambria and we saw the lights and our daughter is five months old now. She loved it. And she was so chill the whole time. She was in um, the baby Bjorn on my husband. And um, first we had her like facing in. And she was just so chill because she had just woken up from this. You know, she had been in the car for an hour to get there. And so she just woke up and she was all groggy and sleepy and kind of frighteningly quiet. Um, but then we ate some dinner and after dinner I fed her and then we turned her front facing so that she could see everything. And it was really cute to watch her um, just sort of react to all of the lights and it was just really cute. She likes looking at pretty, pretty lights. All right, let's fill out little mini calendar again honestly this left side is not really very practical right now I got this insert to track sleep patterns um, and I'm taking a break from that because I feel like I've learned all that I can for right now um, but we'll see I'll probably pick it up again in maybe a, another few weeks because you know babies mm develop so quickly. All right, I should have silenced my phone. Shout out to my mom who just texted me. That sound, everyone always is like, what is that sound? It's my cell phone, it's my text message alert. It's the sound that the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy makes in the original radio drama. So if you knew that, like you get bonus points and go ahead and let me know um, by quoting your favorite line below. Big fan. This is a Pigma Micron 01. Eatsy Beatsy. And I'm using this instead of the uh, friction pen that I use for most of my stuff because it is... Um, it doesn't streak. So this is the 10th through the 16th. So yes, Agnes was great. She got a little bit tired as we were waiting in line to meet Santa and so we were afraid she was gonna get super cranky, but she didn't. She was rubbing her eyes, but then we went in to see Santa, she was great, and then we came out and she actually didn't go back to, like she didn't go to sleep until we were lining up for the car, or for the shuttle to go back to the car. Because she just wanted to see everything. So she was just really chill, um, cozy in the front carrier. And just sort of taking it all in. She's so good. All right, so we've actually decided to try to move her into the nursery overnight. So that's where she is right now as I'm recording this. And um, I mean, so far so good. She's good for the first stretch overnight, generally. Okay. Um, let's see what I haven't added yet. I'm not gonna add that stuff. This isn't relevant yet. I'm going to just put M H. That means we'll check what's on here. We did. I did visit the common room. And yes, all of that's done. So this will just mean to check this spread and do the things in the week two column. Um, let's see. Development time. Christmas cards. That is a thing. We got a picture to use. Finally got a picture to use. We were gonna take pictures for Christmas card over Thanksgiving, but then the baby got sick and it was like, yeah, no, nope. Let's see, I think I added that to the other. Okay, that's fine. Ignore that for now. And then we'll look at our monthly here. 
I'm going to go ahead and fill out my monthly tracker while I'm here and thinking about it. Yes. 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 That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. Working pretty good. The thing about this, um, trackers are fantastic. The thing about having it here is I have to remember to turn to it every day because I kind of use this as like a checklist of like things to do every day. Um, and if I don't check it every day, I forget to do the things. Oh yes, I wanted to add, um, what was I gonna add? Oh. Just this. She is sitting up so well. My gosh. It's crazy how fast babies grow and develop and learn. Alright. I think I added all of these things already. I'm losing my place again. Vitamins. Yes, yes. Okay. Cool. And then I we have no plans for the weekend. So that's cool. That's good um no we use the purple one i'm using different colors on different things yes purple too here we go sort of mark off each of these sections this again is the child care section i might just not add headers. This is going to be for dinners. But I don't have any plans for that yet. <laughs> and I'm trying to think if I should add any more of these while I'm thinking about it. That one's cute. I think I might just use some of these as I go throughout my week. Um, if any of these seem relevant, I will just sort of clip them out and sort of stick them on the weekly like I kind of did here. I added the little one with the stars because it was sort of an astronomy themed washi thing. The rain got the little umbrella one. And then this was sort of a yay, let's go on a trip. So I stuck that there and I thought it was kind of cute, even though it didn't really match with the panda. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got here. I'm all right with that. I like these colors. This um, it was a very bright color blue, but that's okay. It's wintry and I'm going with it. So, um, yeah, mostly this is, this is the beginning of the week and then I will show you what it looks like, the finished result next week when I do my next plan with me. So, uh, we'll see how that works and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm doing Vlogmas. I will be doing another video tomorrow. Tomorrow's the Sims video but most of this is going to be planner stuff. So stick around and I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Goodbye.